Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you are. I am in now Kuchiali, India. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Uh, okay, so today's video is just going to share some information with you guys. The thing is, uh, because I do controversial issues, obviously, I've been on Reddit uh, because on Reddit, there's a lot of opportunity to find topics of conversation because I'll have you know, people on Reddit are on a different level of crazy, of delusional, of out of this world. I don't know if it's because there's a lot of children on there or because there's a lot of fake people on there, a lot of predators on there. It's just, I tell you, it's just on another level. So I just want to advise anybody, if you have a child over 13 years of age, do not allow them to go on Reddit. It is very, very toxic. And it's not just the people who are on Reddit, but also the moderators because I have discovered that a lot of moderators are not who they say they are not at all and also the reddit team themselves they have an agenda that they are pushing and I am saying this because I have done things on reddit to see how they view these things or how they will how they go about these things and let me tell you something reddit is on an agenda so be very careful if you have young children do not allow them to go on reddit it is a very bad place so i've been permanently suspended from reddit today uh, not banned, suspended, so I can still see what's going on there. So I'm still going to take things from there and share it with you people. Because some of the things are just, it will blow your mind. Okay, but what I want to do today is, this is just a, just one thing that I did uh, post on Reddit because I have a subreddit which is called Crit Critical Reasoning, where I take things that are on Reddit and I try to analyze by using critical thinking, critical reasoning, what, uh, how, how to um, go about looking into the matter, like whether it's a topic or, or just how you how you can analyze a situation. So, because I've been doing this for a while, and so I've been engaging in conversations that I know are going to be controversial. So, I will put out a point to see how people will respond. And of course, then based on how they respond, I can analyze this by applying critical reasoning. But what I've noticed is, so this is my second last post on Reddit. I wrote, I put this out. It's, I said, when people disagree with you on Reddit, this is how it usually goes down. Okay, so number one, let's say somebody will say something. Uh, I just take something, uh, the sky is blue. So, or they'll say the sky is green. So I'll come and say, actually the sky is blue. So then people, they have this karma system, which of course they don't even know how what karma is. They just use this word, which I think is so disrespectful to Buddhism and Hinduism that this word karma is just used like in such a, wishy-washy kind of way, like with no substance. Anyway, so people will either upvote or downvote your comment. Now, how this also works doesn't make sense because some people might downvote you because they don't agree that the sky is, bl is blue. They could be downvoting because they don't like the color blue. Or they could be downvoting you because they don't like the sky. Or they could just be downvoting you because they don't like you. 
or because they are all in a group and the person who posted the first time you have to agree with that person and if you don't then of course the the the, the group comes in and then they downvote you so it's a very try that's why i think it's children who are running this it's a very childish way of doing things anyway but so the original poster will say something and then like maybe i'll comment so then this is what will happen is if you say something controversial to what they say or not in agreement to what they have posted first thing they will ask is show me proof you know like example that the sky is blue so even after you've provided the proof they'll try to debunk the proof which of course this is normal this should be done but i mean the way they try to debunk the proof is they will use silly childish things like just not even from a source just stupid things uh oh the sky is not blue i know it's gray uh what proof is that that's not proof uh, uh, there's no such thing as the sky is blue they'll try to debunk that proof and say because i live in london the sky is always gray which i guess is a valid point but of course you know london is not famous for good weather but still okay so that will be number two number three is when they can't debunk the proof they'll try to debunk the source okay i'm sure a lot of you have experienced this so your the source could be the most credible scientist in the world that says the sky is blue but now they will debunk the source and how they will debunk the source is they'll try to slander the source which has nothing to do with the science let's let's just for example say the scientist is uh that said that is um john travolta i'm just making up a name they will start slandering john travolta yes but uh, he makes bad movies he uh doesn't take take care of his wife he's abusive uh his dog peed on the mat uh he's a misogynist he, like they just they will try to slander the source okay which has like got nothing to do with the fact that the sky is blue oh uh, perfect example like the source <clears throat> in like example I, i won't use john travolta if it was andrew tate who said the sky is blue so also they will down vote that quote because they don't like andrew tate so now you give them the proof that the sky is blue because not it's not something andrew tate said it's just something that <clears throat> some we know as a fact i mean we all have eyes functioning brain function written as we can see and then when they cannot disprove that three is they just they would want to 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 debunk the the the, the source so they would go like Tate is a misogynist, Tate is a child, a sex trafficker, blah, 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 blah. They'll be going on and on about all these things that has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that the sky is blue. Fourth thing they do is when the proof and the source still holds up. Okay, so when all that, all that, all that fails, they start to swear at you, like at me in this case, and start to verbally abuse me yeah who the f are you and you're just a c and a, you are f f this and a, so all the swear words that you can think of and then start to um really bad things which you can die and blah 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 all this kind of stuff because you know they cannot uh, come back they cannot debunk anything this far so when you remain unfazed by this which i normally do i don't care people can be verbally abusive to me i'm almost 60 you're probably 14 or you could be 25 but you have no education so i just take it in so when you remain unfazed they will start insulting the people that you follow or posts you've shared or opinions about matters that you opinions you have about matters that are unrelated to the matter at hand now this is 
this is a very common one because even within my family this happens when people cannot win an argument you know they start to make it personal so like i follow jordan peterson because they cannot get me on these other points they'll start like yeah you follow jordan peterson uh, Peterson is a person who said women mustn't wear makeup in the office. He didn't say that, but that's what they will say. Peterson is a misogynist. He's not, but that's what those are. He's a alt, he's alt right. He's a Nazi. He's right wing. You know, he kills babies, all the stuff. He murders dogs and uh, sleeps around with everybody's wives. Let's make up stories. You know, because Jordan Peterson is someone that is dear to me that I, I hold up. You know, I watch all his videos. I listen to his advice, his philosophies. So they will try to break me by, by saying things about him, by slandering him, okay? Or they will slander post you've shared. So maybe I've shared a post about, okay, let's see, like let's say Andrew Tate's post where he says, um, someone asked him, what would you do if your son is gay? He said, I wouldn't do anything if my son is gay in private, in, in his private life, this is not verbatim, it's just uh, me paraphrasing. In his private life, I don't care, he can be as gay as he want to be. But what I will not approve of is him going out there and being horrible to other people and forcing, wanting to, to force other people to accept him and, and be a degenerate by uh, causing all kinds of conflict and with other people. So to me, I don't care who said it, that makes sense. But they will then now go, want to slander me because I shared that post. Other thing is, any opinion I have about matters that has nothing to do with the sky being blue. I could be saying, uh, I like Cuba because in Cuba and Turkey, the animals are being protected by the government. The government takes care of them. The municipalities take care of them. They will start slandering me because of that. which has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that the sky is blue. You see how it goes? Right. Next thing, when this, even this doesn't work, they'll start straw manning your argument, okay? Everybody's familiar with straw manning, so I don't have to explain that, but they will start to straw man the argument. Of course, it's very difficult to straw man a fact. It's, a, it's not an opinion, it's just a fact. Facts of that's why I like facts. The sky is just blue. Finish. Okay. They will straw man. Maybe there's you know like with somebody's eyes they see different things, but it doesn't matter. It is already the general consensus that this, throughout the world, throughout since the beginning of time, that the sky is blue. Okay. Um, after this, the derailing of the conversation will start. So this is when they start talking about, yeah, uh, let's just derail. It will suddenly go from the sky is blue to Malaysia is a bad country. Uh, Trump, uh, his foreign policy sucks. It's nothing to do with the, with the sky is blue. They'll just keep derailing, derailing, derailing. And it just becomes like very irritating and annoying, but you know, this is how it goes. After that, it will go to, the next step is to insult you and to try to demean you about things which are unrelated to the conversation. So this is different from when they try to insult the people you follow or the person. This is now, then they become demeaning and insulting to me personally personally yeah you transphobic homophobic skyophobic because let's say we're talking about the sky you are skyophobic or because blue you are blue supporter uh you know uh, your parents raised you to be a nazi uh, stupid things that has absolutely nothing to do with the sky being blue absolutely nothing about the fact that the sky is blue right? Next thing is they will start to put words in your mouth. Oh, so you are saying uh, because uh, Andrew Tate said 
which again has nothing to do with the conversation, but you know, uh, that uh, he doesn't want a degenerate as a child. That means you are supporting the fact that parents should kill their children if they are degenerates. Kill me now, please. But that's how it goes. The so you are saying. And somehow people don't understand that when they do things like this, they are just being stupid. But the reason they don't understand this is because nobody has the courage to tell them to their faces that they are just idiots. Everybody is too afraid. I don't know what people are so afraid of. Everyone is about the, oh, I don't care if someone says two plus two is five. I'm just going to leave them to say two and two plus two is five because uh, I don't want drama. It's no, it's not that you don't want drama. It's because you with them, you uh, just as an, just an idiot, just you are the same idiot as they are. That's what, that's what it boils down to. You are a coward. You are a sellout. And that is why people, the world is like so topsy-turvy now, why the people are so delusional about things. And facts are not facts anymore. Facts don't matter anymore. People can just lie and make up stories. Because we just leave them. Even, oh, it's a small matter. What small matter? Things start small and then it gets bigger. Remember back in the day when everyone was like, oh, when people say uh, a woman can be anyone that ad identifies a woman is a small matter. Oh, look at a big matter that's becoming now. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. So last but not least, when none of the above works, they'll try to guilt trip you by talking about their personal afflictions and how people like you are causing suffering to them. Hmm. Because now they cannot win. They cannot... They went to the sky's blue. They don't want it to be blue. They don't want you to like, example, John Travolta, Jordan Peterson. They have problem with Andrew Tate, which has got nothing to do with the sky's blue. Uh, they got uh, start accusing you of supporting killing degenerate children. Um, and now that they see they just cannot, then it will start with, yeah, but you see, because people like you, because uh, you... Uh, talk like this on the internet and because uh, people like me who um, we are suffering from uh, we can't we are blind we can't see the sky is blue because there's something wrong with our eyes and then when you want to argue with us and you don't want to uh, acknowledge our experience and our feelings about what color the sky is you cause us to go out and to go commit suicide and uh, you cause suffering to us Well, I've got four words for you. To hell with you. You can take your little feelings and stick it somewhere very high up. Because I am not going to buy into your delusion. Okay? I'm not. Especially people on Reddit. Because on Reddit, I didn't believe this at first when people were telling me this. I saw other YouTubers talking about it. There is a lot of grooming going on there. So people with children, be careful. Do not allow your children to go on Reddit. Reddit has a lot of weird people putting very weird things into people's minds. Very weird. But I'll cover some of them here. And uh, let's see, maybe YouTube follows the same rule because I can see YouTube is also starting to ban a lot of people who are exposing all this delusional things that are going on in the world and they're getting banned left, right and center. But as long as this video is up and you watch it, please watch your children. Make sure you know what content they are consuming, especially on Reddit. Okay, so that's it for today. Please like, subscribe, comment, or just ignore. That's also fine because, you know, like I said, there's also some of you are like that. That's why these things can go on because you are not living in this world. You're living in your own little world. So anyway, cheers and have a good day.